Find me, gag me, take me to the bunny ranch. People dying, kill me in the packing house. Even you have to... Hey, everybody. Uh, yeah, uh, welcome to the Bunny Ears Podcast. I'm your illustrious host, Mecca Lekka Clucklin. Uh, better known as Macaulay Culkin. Hello, everybody. Uh, so this week, actually, we have a fun little throwback for especially our old school fans. Uh, it's kind of an old school episode. So, uh, yeah, my former co-host, uh, Mr. Matt Cohen, uh, he showed up to my place. Uh, we hung out in my backyard. And uh, so so did um, Stuart P. Miller from Columbus, Ohio. So another, you know, another person who hasn't been on the podcast in a while. And uh, yeah, we sat in my backyard. You can hear lots of planes and helicopters in the background because I, I guess I live, I guess a little slightly too close to a, uh, an airport. But um, still, we, uh, but uh, speaking of throwbacks, uh, we do a bunch of throwback kind of things. We talk about the past and we talk about uh, throwback things like, uh, like dead animals that were on television and stuff like that. So I uh, hope you enjoy it. Uh, yeah. Uh, I'll, I'll catch you at the end of this. All right, bye. This next ad is brought to you by Candles. Candles, you light up my life. Wow, that was really great. I feel so much brighter now. All right, back to the show. I'm doing fine. Do you remember when video game manuals had that section in the back that said notes? Yes, I've you actually like, used them. Notes for Stu is oh, the person God. who used them. That makes sense. <laughs> that makes all the sense yes. in the world. Yes. He, Only once. He kept notes on his fucking were they video notes games. About the video games or were they your manifesto? No, they were notes about. <laughs> <Yeah>. the- <laughs> <laughs> I kept journals. Yeah. There's that a scum way, manifesto. I <laughs> my thoughts down in Vector Man. <laughs> <laughs> Kid Chameleon really understands me. <laughs> no, I used to. I I only used those for TGA and E, and I only used it to like write down where promotions were, like how you know at what point level you got a promotion, yes. and and like you how told, many you told me about how this, many tomatoes yeah. it takes to kill each each enemy. But yeah. that was it. And Greg looked at me. Greg, the creator of Toji and Earl, was like. What, what the hell is wrong with you? Yeah, what, what the fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> Even I feel that way. And I, I get it. You know, yeah. Yeah. Well, that was one of the things when we started the Bunny Ears like, project. It was like, you know what we really want? We want to meet the creator of Toe Jam and Earl. That was like yeah. the only thing you guys wanted. Yeah, 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 yeah I know. Yeah. To be fair, <laughs> this whole endeavor. And I'll never forget. I don't know if I can tell a little behind the scenes yeah, secret, please. but the first time we spoke to that guy, Greg, who created Toe Jam and Earl, the three of us were on a conference call with him, and we basically like. <laughs> Suck this toe jam for 15 minutes about how much you guys love the game. And then at the end of 15 minutes, he went, so Macaulay likes it too? Do you guys remember <laughs> so that? And he's like, it's like, no, it's me. I'm on the phone. Hey, it's the real Macaulay. You, you, you've been actually speaking to Macaulay this whole time. <laughs> he was like, oh, oh. oh. That was yeah, great. You're that fucking fanboy. That great. Yeah, yeah, that's me. I did it. Speaking like, of fanboys, I think I think we're, we're going old yeah, school for so, this. So app, we're right? getting old school. Have you guys done a list since me? No, we have no. not. Oh, thank you for, no, for we've only, observing we, the sanctity. We've only it. had Tom Green and, and Seth Green on. That's pretty Fair much enough. it. Yeah, yeah. And I've <laughs> with both of them in the past. We, yeah. we, did, we did a multiple list thing, but, or, or not a multiple list thing. We did one full list of crossovers. Okay. Like television oh, crossovers. Oh, yeah. We, we were in yeah. the, my living room in did New York. Did you hit all of the TGIF ones? I, Mac, we hit some. Mac got a, a lot of them. Was all over the place. Honestly, yes. I was all about Webster. Webster's uh, crossover. Yeah, Munchverse, I'm sure. Oh yes, yes. <laughs> Tommy Westfall's universe. Like, yeah. yeah, we did that. That's so awesome. yeah, no, we're kicking it old school because like yeah, we have we, Matt and uh, Stu and I haven't done a podcast in a while, so we figured uh, we do a list thing, which is old school for us. But on top of that, it's a lot of kicking it old school categories. So yeah, uh, um, like okay, listen, guys. We wrote them in a certain order. Do we have to do them in order, or should we just kind of like wing it? I don't know. I think we can jump around. Who wants to, who, man. who wants to go first? It's 2019. Come on, everyone, show us your tits. It's great. <laughs> yeah, show me yeah, show show first. Us all of your tits. Come show, on. Yeah. Uh, oh, there we go. So hairy. There's Jesus. Right. Wow, dude. Yeah, you are Robin Williams. Right. I thought I was a hairy. I thought I was a hirsute gentleman, but holy shit! I only just put a little back by the head. <laughs> Stu, never do that again. <laughs> 
It's like rug consistency. <laughs> yeah, what, what the fuck? All right, jeez. I haven't trimmed yet. You know what? I've, I, guy. I've learned my lesson about asking people to show their tits. I've, I've learned. Um, uh, all right, Stu, uh, pick which one you want to start with first. Uh, you know what? Let's start with 90s news stories. Ooh, news stories. Yeah. Okay. Uh, five um, to one? Yeah, five. Yeah, counting down. Yeah, counting down, counting down. That's classic. Take Cla- it, Stu. Cl- like, classic bunny ears. That's classic us. Classic us. Classic us, you guys. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yo, we always count down. <laughs> All right, so the 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 my number five for the classic news stories from the 90s, Lorena Bobbitt. Oh, I have that later on in my list. Yeah, but, okay. yeah, yeah, spoiler alert, everybody. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that's classic. What did you love about when that time that yeah. woman cut off the man's <laughs> penis and threw it <laughs> the construction site? No, she have threw you seen a cornfield. The the road. I watched the doc. Yeah. Have you seen the doc? Oh, yeah. Have you seen the raw photos? Yeah. Oh, no, yeah, no. Yeah. Oh, no, no. Oh, yeah, dude, yeah, yeah, dude. Yeah, yeah. No, I have not. I, I, I highly don't <laughs> recommend <laughs> it. Yeah, and I'm willing John Bobbitt's penis. No, no, no. Oh, there's dude, three you can never see too. too. You can never unsee it. No, have you seen worse than that, though? Have you seen because he got it got cut off. You learned in the dock, right? It got cut off, and then they they reattached it, and it was like normal. And then he got into porn, and then he got a penis enlargement, which ruined his penis and what they termed Franken penis. That picture is the picture oh, of his dick <laughs> attached to his body is worse than the picture of it not uh, attached. Oh, I, 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 That's how bad that dick got. Really? Because yeah. I mean, honestly, I, I've seen the detached you one. Have left oh my God. Alone. <laughs> Fuck, dude. Because no, the detached one really, like, honestly, it, it, it haunts me to this day. Get it's been bad. like three months, and I, 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 I and not like that, I sh- Brenda didn't want to see it. But I showed it to her anyway. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah, that's a supportive partner. I just yeah. remember liking all the like SNL just had a field day with that whole thing. Like, yeah, it went on and on. It just yeah. went on and yeah. on. I like Lorena Babbitt's attitude on that doc, where she was like always kind of half giggling. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah, she was doing what you did, that face that yeah. you just did. We're kind of just like three quarters turn, you know what like, I mean? shoulder up, like uh huh. Um, yeah, definitely an interesting news story. Yeah. yeah. How, and what year was that? Do you know? I I don't know. I think actually. it's like ninety three, ninety four. I was like young too. yeah it was definitely the first time you were like oh people cut off people's penises yeah was, <laughs> that was that was a frightening thing to learn once well, i hit know, puberty I, mean, I, I guess it's better than if she bit it off true yeah, yeah. true yeah yeah um <laughs> i mean i guess for the sake of brevity I, I i will i will say bob it's my number five too since we just talked about it because oh, i was actually gonna yeah, put yeah. a little higher on my list but you know for the sake of brevity i'll just push things around them all right so, I, yeah. I bobbled what do you around got? bob it but i didn't go for it you, but, you, you, uh, didn't, you didn't bubble bob it i didn't bite you didn't, uh, <laughs> i went with y2k <laughs> Ooh, oh, that's yeah. good. One. That's a good one. Yeah. Because and the thing is, I was never really convinced it was gonna happen, but it would have been exciting. I feel like. Yeah. No shit. Like, like. Okay. Did you stock up? Did you get like water or anything like well, that? No, because I was. I mean, what, so, you were like twelve, so like 13, 14. 14 so, yeah. so wait for I the on weed. For, for the younger <laughs> yeah. Warren. There, there was a time in the nineties when we were all convinced that all of the computers would go once it. It went up to 1999, and then it would reset down at zero instead of going yeah, the to la- the last two digits of like computers were actually just two digits and not four digits. Right. So they they, they thought that all the computers would reset and to we would 1900. Lose all the banking information and all of the um air, all the electricity, towers all of the down. water. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, did they know all we got was uh, Chris Jericho making his debut? Yeah. In the right. WWF. Yeah, oh, who's calling me? Um, it's Chris Jericho. It's go, oh, Chris Jericho. I, I what are you doing? I remember here? at the time I like just absolutely loved REM, and I remember Michael Stipe being like, "I'm so excited for J- January 1st when absolutely nothing is going to happen." Hey, buddy, he was so excited he sang a song about it. It's called the end, the end of the world as we know. Yeah, yeah. Yes, there, there you, you go. go. I, fair he, enough. And how did he feel? He was fairly pressing. Oh, he was fine. Oh, he's fine. Yeah, it was just it was great though. I love anytime people are like, "The world's coming to an end," then they're like. We were a little bit off on the numbers. <laughs> yeah. but the meteor but don't, took a dip but don't worry. Uranus. Yeah, it's coming. It's coming. Don't it's worry. It's coming. Don't worry. It's uh, any num- day now. Number four, Stuart. Yeah, uh, Stu. Yeah, you go, yeah, go ahead. Hit uh, us off. I, really young. I remember the Iraq war starting. Okay. And just being, and like, that was a thing. Like, Is that one of your favorites? It, yeah, well, number four. It's, yeah, not, yeah. it's, 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 it's higher than Bobbitt. Yeah, it's higher than the fucking Bobbitt. Remember the fucking bomb falling through the chimney that they aired on the news? Yes. 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 That's the one thing I vividly that, that, remember. That, 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 like, kind of black and whitey or whatever it Absolutely. was. Absolutely. It was like yeah. whatever footage. And I also, I had, an, uh, I had a family member who worked at Topps Trading Cards, and she used to get me all the boxes. And that'll come up later in the episode. But I still have a box of... They made Desert Storm trading cards. Yes, I remember that. I have a sealed box of them. And they're like soldiers and shit on them. Really? It's yeah. like it's like Doug Smith it's or like whatever? It's like General... 
Gunny Smithers and <laughs> Gunny Smithers, yes. Uh, it was it was prescient that he became a soldier, actually. Yeah, yeah. yeah it was yeah. <laughs> soldier Mick Warman. Uh, yeah, no, that shit was crazy. I do remember the Gulf War, and I remember being so young. Gulfy Mick Warman. I was just like blindly allegiant. I didn't know why we were fighting a war. I had Saddam Hussein no was idea. the bad guy. I yep. remember as a kid. Yep. They told me in uh the Leslie Nielsen, not Leslie Nielsen, they told me in um what did Leslie Nielsen tell you? Uh, part two. Okay. Yeah. Saddam Hussein's a bad guy. Yes. 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 So there you they go. Yeah. It, you know? That's yeah. Yeah. No. <laughs> stick with it. You know, yeah. <laughs> Uh, um, oh, let's see what my number four is. Oh, uh, um, it, it's kind of in the same vein, vein as the Bobbit stuff. It's the uh, Nancy Kerrigan, Tan, yeah. Tanya Harding Ooh, stuff. Oh, yeah, that was. Yeah, I remember that. <laughs> I do why, remember that vividly why, as well. Why? Why? Why, why me? Why anyone? <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, no, is that. And also, I remember uh, Nancy Kerrigan hosting SNL. She got to host SNL. And making yeah. a jo- immediately making a joke, I remember. Or oh, I forget what it was. It just, but. None of it landed. None of it landed. <laughs> she's not exactly a comedy uh, yeah. stalwart. But. Yeah, no, she's no, she's no Tina Fey. Let's put it <laughs> that way. She's no Ruth Yes, 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 yes. She's no Zero Mustel. Let's put it that way. <laughs> but, uh, but uh, yeah, no, I just remember, like, yeah, that 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 whole kind of thing that was that just wrecked all the headlines for oh, a long yeah. time. And uh, and again, I, I just love the why me, yep. why anyone. <laughs> That's the part that got. She was me. thinking for all of us. Yeah, <laughs> she got very existential in that moment. Yeah, it's yeah. kind of amazing. Uh huh. Yeah. That's so weird. That's your first response when someone fucking takes your kneecap out. <laughs> yeah. Why do bad things happen? <laughs> what do bad things happen to <laughs> other people, people also <laughs> as well? Uh, number what you got? Four, yeah. I have uh, Millie Vanilli. Ooh, that's a good one. You got you got two good ones. Appreciate so far. it. I appreciate yeah. it. I, yeah. I, I, like, and I wasn't a huge fan of theirs. What are their names? Uh, R- Rob. And um, it's a German, uh, yep. or it's a foreign name. One of them is dead. Fuck. It's um, yeah, uh, uh, Christopher. No, Rob and Fab. Fab, Fabio, Fabian, yes. or yeah, something. Yeah, 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 Which yeah. one is dead? Uh, I think I it's think Fab. We'll, okay. Yeah, Fab. Um, he was the one who looked like he took steroids. Yeah, they yeah, both yeah. looked interesting. <laughs> yeah, I think I think it's a very well, kind it way to put just it. Like, and I wasn't old enough to be super aware of like pop music at that time, but I definitely remember like, oh shit, those guys got in trouble. Like, yeah. it was the ultimate. They gave back busted. their Grammy. It was the ultimate busted of all fucking yeah. time. So for our younger listeners, like you know, Rip Millie Vanilli, they they won best new artists. Yeah, uh, girl, you know, know it's true. true. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I love Stu. I love Stu. I love Miller. Do you not not know about... (laughs) I didn't... I know. I don't know. You don't even know what Millie Vanilli is. You don't know what we're talking about right now. I had friends who used to call me Millie Vanilli because of... Stuart Miller. Millie Vanilla, but you but don't like, know the scandal. No. Well, let, so let, yeah, let there we go. You. So, so they, they they won the Grammy for Best New Artist yep. for uh, uh, for Girl, you know it's true. Yeah. And uh, um, they were found out to not actually have sung any of their songs. I think so that I do it was, remember. It was a bunch. It was a bunch. It was a bunch of like kind of like chubby or semi not good looking, I guess, people to yeah. put it kindly. Yeah. And the Uh-oh. way that they got found out was <laughs> they would lip sync live on stage, right? And at a at a concert, at an MTV concert, it started looping. And the, the record got stuck, so it goes going. Girl, girl you know it's, it's girl, girl, you know it's girl, you know it's. Girl, you know it's. <laughs> and they just walked off the stage and out of everyone's lives forever. <laughs> and <laughs> then their Grammy, <laughs> and then they had to give back their Grammy. It was like one of and the biggest the, scandals and then, in music. And then they tried. Yeah. To come back, like really singing, and they actually weren't bad. They did Arsenio Hall. They were like, "We're gonna prove that we can really sing," and, and they, they weren't, weren't bad. Terrible. No, they weren't. They, but they, they didn't embarrass themselves. They weren't gonna win a Grammy for best new fucking artist. Yeah, right, they didn't right. embarrass themselves. Like, you know, <laughs> yeah. listen, they were just they were they were two like you know Eastern European like models essentially that like yeah like just <laughs> were lip syncing to to like you know the whatever the the weather like gospel, the, the weather girls like gospel you know, choir yeah like the people who actually sang the song yeah it's like a dude with glasses and like a weird little beard and stuff and. Like, you know what I mean? Yeah. Let's do. Let's do your three. three. Uh, fall of Russia. Or fall of communism in Russia. That was 1989, sorry. That was not the 90s. No, 89 was the wall came down. Okay, fine. 91 was minute. when fall communist. communism in Russia, isn't it still communist? No. 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 Is it officially a democracy right now? It's officially no. a democracy. Yeah. The communist party still exists. <laughs> or only in China. Uh, well, other places besides China, 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 yeah, China, yeah. China, North Korea, North Korea, of, uh, Vietnam. But Russia does not yeah. have a communist party. Technically, no. It's it like they but are supposed the to be a democracy. Are They're very legitimate. Yeah, all the former, all the leaders are like former, or the president's a former KGB agent. I mean, so it's yeah. like. Yeah. Yeah. 
yeah. a new name for an old party. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But, but still, so that was that, like that, a big that, thing. That stuck to your ribs? Yeah, that was like a like, weird way to like say that, nine, but yeah. Yeah, but you're nine, ten years old. And yeah. Because yeah, yeah. I remember the wall falling in 89. I, I remember that too. In November of 89. It's... That's how I. That's how much I remember it. There you yeah. go. Yeah. Um, no, it was. Uh, I just remember in '91. Like I remember Gorbachev. Like just like being like, "It's done. We're done. Yeah, we're out." The coup against Yeltsin. And like in '93, '92, yeah. '92. Was it '92? Yeah, I forgot about that. Yeah, I was just, just stoked that you know communism. I'll have two more glasses of wine, and I'll start forgetting. <laughs> he hated communism as a little kid. Dude, I was a full-fledged American. We all hated he communism. Hated, he just hated sinners. <laughs> yeah, that's what he hated. All right, number three on uh, my list. Let's see. Oh, uh, Ellen is gay. <laughs> yeah. Wait, yeah. What? <laughs> uh, yeah, no, I just remember, like, yeah. honestly, almost every girl in my high school, like, thought that was the coolest thing ever. Sure. And, like, yes, I had to tune in just because all the girls were at my house. I and, think I was watching yeah. that show, <laughs> like, just watching it before. She, I really? Think I, did, yeah. you, did you really yeah. watch that show? It was, like, 10 years old or something. Like, I'm going to say it was bad. I never, I never watched it. Yeah, Jeremy Piven was on it. She's funny, so it wasn't a bad sitcom. And then all of a sudden it was Laura Dern, right? Uh, I can't remember. I, I just remember. I think Laura Dern played her girlfriend in that scene. It was the first lesbian on screen kiss in TV history. And, like, I remember the big deal about it. I just remember one of my friend's dads trying to sell it to me as, like, a female Jerry Seinfeld. Before before she came out, it was, she was, he was like, The uh-huh. Ellen Show. This is like Seinfeld, except for a woman. And I was like, How'd that work okay. out? Okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and, like, I watched a couple episodes. It yeah, was all right. No, no. It, it's. Uh, I'm sure it was a perfectly fine show. But I just, yeah. I just, I just remember. Yeah. I remember, like, yeah, my ex-wife Rachel really like wanting to watch it. So, I'm like, <laughs> all right, fine. We're gonna, we're gonna watch Ellen come out, even though we already knew the big reveal was already revealed. It was already revealed. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we knew going in. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So it's like, oh, we just had to wait for that moment. We just wanted to see the kiss. It was kind of like yeah. kiss, kiss, yeah. kiss, kiss, yeah. kiss. Yeah. Like, yeah, yeah, exactly. The yeah. <laughs> Where people go, no, no, no. <laughs> yeah, exactly. All right, what you got for number three, uh, Mr. Matt Cohen? Um, like. Internet idiots, I called it. So, like, do you remember when, like, shit was first starting and all the news stories would be like, this new fad called the internet is surely going to burn out in the next two years. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, even, even up to or, my... Or it's, like, it's the new telephone they, or whatever. They just didn't okay. know what it... No one knew what it was going to be, and there was no way to cover it in the news in the 90s because it hadn't become the thing it was yeah, coming yeah. yet. Right. Yeah, so, nobody knew, yeah. So, so it was this mysterious, weird thing you didn't understand, and I think, to an extent, a lot of older people People still don't understand it because of that. Because mm-hmm. it's definitely like, have you heard every news story? If you watch clips, they're like, have you heard about this new thing called the internet? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's like, yeah, yeah. Like, what, what's up with that? Yeah. yeah. Um, so yeah, like people being fucking morons ten years ago. <laughs> yeah. 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 Oh, the Google twenty five years ago, YouTube but okay. Them, but whatever, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'm bad at maths too. I just got here, bro. <laughs> yeah. Cut, cut him some slack, would you? Fair enough. Fair enough. <laughs> I love I give Y two K in the internet. And general again yeah. the, the, the two thirds of your pick so far Billy Vanilli and Billy Vanilli and just throw right sandwich in there uh, number uh, two, two what you got two number two for me was Monica Lewinsky oh, okay the whole like, yeah 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 yeah, that was the nineties. Yeah. I did not have sexual relations with that woman, and then it was like the blue dress, well, Linda Tripp. I didn't get a blowjob from her yeah, in the I Oval remember, Office. I remember clips on late night shows. I believe it was Wu Tang reading the Star Report. I can't yes. remember what. Show, maybe it was Kenneth Star, Star, not Darren Star. No, Kenneth Star. Exactly. Yeah, Darren Star is the one who did Sex in the City. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. yeah, he's a showrunner for that. Uh, show. Yeah, dude, it was everywhere. Linda Tripp and fucking yep. um, um, Janet Reno. Like that whole time period, those people are so locked into my brain. But only yeah. the SNL. Versions of them. I was about to say, yes. yeah, John Goodman John as Goodman is Linda, Linda Tripp, Tripp. <laughs> well, <laughs> Janet Reno, honestly, like, really, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah me too. Me yeah. too. Yeah. Oh, the dress and everything. That's, that's where I got all of my news from. Here's, here's just the watching weird, Saturday Here's Night the Live. weird part: is that like, okay, he came and a little bit of she splattered saved, on her dress, dress, and she fucking she put it in a ziploc bag. Yeah, she that is. It a, is that's a little. That's okay. a little nuts. Let's put it this way: like, I was, listen, I have sympathy for her. Well, at in the time general. of this recording, I went to a WWE Raw show last night, and I caught one of New Day's pancakes. And there was a moment where I was like, "I have to come on it." Do I? No. <laughs> Do I bring this pancake home and like seal it somehow? But I was like, "No, that seems like a ridiculous thing to do." It's a gross pancake. <laughs> cum is so much grosser than a pancake. <laughs> yeah, thank you. <laughs> yes. Why would you want cum? In, I'm, I'm glad that you've acknowledged that. Cum in your house. Yeah, somewhere. yeah. No, yeah. I'm, I'm gonna shellac this cum on my. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Strange and honestly, like 
Look, she has actually been really good for victims in the Me Too movement in general. Honestly, I, 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 I like where she's gone over the last 20 years. Absolutely. So yeah. I, don't, I can't say there was an ulterior motive behind it. Yeah, but she put dress. it in a fucking Ziploc bag. But it's weird that she saved. Look, but here's what I was going to say, though. Maybe, just like I am a big enough New Day fan to debate it for a second, she was such a fucking presidential buff that she's like, this is memorabilia now. Uh, okay, uh, my number two. Superman is dead. Oh yeah! Remember that? That was all over the fucking news. Ah, man, okay, that was that was morning. on mainstream news. <laughs> For a second, I was like, "Are we talking about Christopher Reeves or the character?" And then I realized what you were uh, talking about. And I'm not making it both. Yeah. No, 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 no. But yeah, yeah, uh, yeah no. no. Doomsday. I had the my, Doomsday yeah, stuff. I had, yeah. My mom came home. I came home from school one day, and there were like five black bags waiting for me. Yes, She's because like, that was the, one, that was the special edition. Yep. Yeah, 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 yeah. And it was a big deal. I remember it was mainstream news and everything oh, like yeah. that. And oh, the, fuck yeah, it was a big deal. And it also it ruined killing Killing comic book characters. Yep. Really. You knew they were going to come back. Because you knew they were going to come back. So yep. came back, what, like three Crazy. months later, four uh, months later? Six, I think it might have been like six months to a year because there was the whole Death the, and Return. Yeah, and there was the four different Supermen. There was Steel. Yeah. There was uh, Superboy. Superboy. There was um, uh, 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 a Cyborg Superman. Yes, uh, uh, Cyborg. Yes, like the robot one. Yeah, yeah, there was the robot one, the Eradicator. Exactly. But there was also Cyborg, oh, Cyborg Superman. Superman. And they're stealing us. Yeah. Dude, who killed Superman? Doomsday. Yeah, Yeah, buddy. dude, I remember that. I just don't... I And I remember that there were like four or five you remember the new bag? Supermans. On the comic? No. So the comics came sealed I remember that, yeah. black Mylar bags with a red bloody Superman logo on the front and I, nothing else. Yeah, I, okay. It was, it was, it was badass, that. especially yeah. for the time. And inside, yeah. you yeah. got a, ri- a black wristband with the Superman logo to show your support. Oh, nice. <laughs> uh, I still have mine. And like I, I think like a poster or something. Yeah, yeah. All right. Uh, number two for you. Number two for me. <laughs> the Heaven's Gate Suicides. <laughs> nice. That was the 90s. That was 98, 99. Uh, yeah. 97, so there was a cult called Heaven's Gate run by a guy named Marshall Applewhite. And they nice. Were, they yeah. were a doomsday cult that thought that they were going to kill themselves and then... Well, no, no they, were, they, killed oh, they killed themselves. killed themselves for the purpose of hitching a ride on the tail of Haley's Comet to take no, them... It wasn't Haley's Comet. It was a different comet. Hell Bop. Yeah, there you go. Uh, I, yeah, okay. This is bringing back some. And memories. they all wore like, like the, the same track suits, and, and, and their shoes yeah. were and the Nikes. same. They yes. all wore clean white Nikes. They all drank like Kool Aid, and they all laid down in bunk beds and died together, like eighty of them or something. Wow. Yeah. No. No. It wasn't. It wasn't like a Kool Aid thing though, no, because they they did they took a shot of 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 vodka okay. along with. Whatever, but it like was yeah, the outfits yeah. they all died. Whatever in, their poison was, and, and the shoes, and specific and they had the same haircuts. And the leader it's, of the cult was this tiny little nerdy old man named Marshall Applewhite, who who was the one who left behind these videos. They're like grainy videos of him talking about how they're all gonna like hitch a ride on a comet to go see grandfather in the sky. Like, oh yeah, yeah, no, the, okay. yeah, we're, we're all aliens to begin with. Exactly. We're just, we're just, they were we're leaving, in these mortal coils. We're leaving our corporal bodies and going back to where we're supposed to be. <laughs> Want to know the craziest thing about that is that you visit the Heaven Gate, Heaven's Gate uh, website. They're and still around. They're still around. They're still around. No, and like you send emails <laughs> to them, yep. they respond. Yep, 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 they're still around. <laughs> they're still around. And like, yeah, no, actually like, you can ask them like, how are you still doing this if everyone was dead? And they're like, no, we were left behind to so spread like, the message. The first wave, there are going to be other waves. Like, yeah, yeah. Okay. Heaven's Gate, yeah, man. Yeah, love it, love it. All right, still number uh, one number for one, you. Number one, O.J. Simpson. Uh, it's my number one, too. Oh, of course. No, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but guess, but guess who, who it is? is. <laughs> but it's my number one also, so yeah. we, we can bang both of these puppies out. I actually, I... It, I it's I'm, timely that you're bringing him up, because you guys know he's on Twitter now, right? I know, I know. He signed up last week, and he's tweeted like no, four times. He signed up oh, yesterday, as of this recording. It was yesterday or the day before. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and it's not incredible because it's weird. Like, okay. He's like, he needs to clear things Let up. Let me cut really quickly. <laughs> he so, has some revenge to take. First video, he's like, hey, everybody, it's me, OJ. I haven't been able to talk to you all in a while, and there's some things I want to get off my chest, and there's some people I need to get even with. And yes, like, yes, oh, that's this. Don't people. let OJ follow you. <laughs> like, there's people I have to get even with. So and let's he put up another video the other day saying that Clay Kardashian is not his daughter, but in the video, he goes like, now people have been able to say about whatever they want about me for years without ramifications, and now I'm here to set the record straight and you're like oh no 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 please no please please set the fucking record straight keep going go on so fucking crazy yeah yeah did you watch the miniseries yeah no American Crime Story yeah the Cuba yeah that's American Crime Story yeah 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 Whitting Jr. yeah Schwimmer yeah yeah I like that do you guys remember watching The Chase Oh, yes. No, yes. During, it was during the 1994 NBA Finals. See, you go to that. I was watching Snick. 
on Nickelodeon. <laughs> <laughs> and I swear to God, it cut it. It was on a Friday night or Saturday were you, night. Were you watching Roundhouse? It cut into like Ren and Stimpy or some yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm pretty sure it was Roundhouse, like, um, you know, or Clarissa. Uh, uh, no, I remember vividly, man. No, I remember. It was a three hour time difference. We were all on the East Coast. Or yeah. You were no, I was in San Fran. I no, was no, I was, were you really? I yeah, was, yeah. I was watching I the was NBA on the East Coast. Oh, you were in New York? Yeah. Oh, okay, sorry. Um, and I, I actually remember you running through the stairwell of PCS going, he's not guilty. Oh, well, no, that, that was after, after the, trial. the trial. That was yeah, three yeah. years later or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. No, that was, that was high school. Like, yeah, yeah. Like I was still. I was in middle school. I, the trial started in fifth grade and ended in, excuse me, the trial started in when I was in elementary school and ended when I was in middle school. Yeah, no, it started between eighth and ninth grade for me. And it was like, yeah, 10th grade was when it Fifth ended. and sixth for me. Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh. See, I'm so old now. So that's both your. So yeah, that, that, yeah, we we both had the juice. Like, yeah. like you, I went for a story that grip uh, gripped the headlines, changed the way Americans think of both themselves <laughs> and their role in the world. Go on. It was when Fabio got hit by that bird. <laughs> yeah. on the road. Was that the nineties? Was that the nineties? Nineteen ninety nine, my friend. <laughs> you looked it up. I, did. I know you did. Greatest yeah. moment in news history. If anyone doesn't know, Fabio got hit in the face by a fucking goose. <laughs> a lot on a roller coaster, and it like broke the shit out of his nose he bled and everything which is actually like you know it's not funny but it's fucking hilarious it's, it because it's it was, absolutely it, it hysterical it was like a Roman themed roller coaster and he's in the front car by himself and behind him are three women in like togas and there's like happy footage of them like getting on the ride and then the last shot is him just gushing blood with three blonde women <laughs> like, with blood splatter all over their face and white yeah. toga looking really horrifying yeah yeah no because he caught it right between the eyes too yeah, yeah, I mean it really yeah, is yeah. just <laughs> right, right it's face man. right right perfect like right. Right bullseye the fucking face. Uh, oh, wow, that's a good one. Yeah, yeah, you, you you got some fucking gems there. Follow up to the Fabio story. Uh, about three years ago, I was at the. Uh, I'll even give it away. I was at like a Ralph's in North Hollywood, and I was like walking from like the cheese aisle to the snack aisle, and you got hit by the face by the no, bird. Fabio was in between the aisles. Did Fabio hit autographs. you between the eyes? Yeah. <laughs> he was signing autographs in Ralph's in North Hollywood in between two aisles. I was like, what's happening here? <laughs> but that nose looks good, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the mid-roll stuff. Yeah, that's right. We have an ad coming up. A dynamic ad, in fact. So, ladies and gentlemen, I am going to do something that no other podcast has ever done. I am going to saw a lady in half. Yes, you heard that right. I'm going to saw a lady in half right in front of your ears. And, uh, wait, wait, what? Maybe we don't have a... I'm a lady. Ladies and gentlemen, here is an ad. Hello, and welcome to Meditation Minute. I'm your guide, Louis Prada. Thank you for joining me as we take a journey into the wilds of relaxation. Let's begin. We want to start off by taking a big deep breath in and out. I want you to kindle a little fire of relaxation in your mind and then spread it slowly throughout your body, one muscle at a time. Regular listeners should be pros at this by now. Let that relaxation in your mind spread down to your cheeks then spread it to your lips feel the relaxation spreading into your jaw. Now spread it to your shoulders. And now your biceps, triceps, forearms, and thumbs. Oh, wait, hold on. Damn it. The relaxation is spreading too quickly. Quick, uh, think of something stressful. Uh, your boss yelling at you. Uh, your credit card's getting stolen. Index finger, middle finger, ring, pinky, palms. Oh, oh no. You're, you're not a pro. You're, you're just a novice at best. Okay, listen to me. We need to stop the relaxation before it spreads. If it reaches your legs, they may become so relaxed you'll you'll never walk again, and I won't be able to live with myself knowing I've paralyzed you with relaxation. I'm afraid I'm going to have to amputate. Here, bite down on this leather strap. It won't make the pain any easier to bear, but at least you won't bite your tongue off. Now, where's my meditation saw? Ah, here. Now, I'm sorry but we don't have time for anesthetic. But if you just focus on your breathing and imagine yourself in a calm, inviting place like a forest cabin or swinging gently in a beachside hammock, maybe you won't feel the sharp teeth of my bone saw tearing through your flesh quite so much. Okay, give me your arm and hold it steady. Take a deep breath in and out. On the 
count of three. One, two. But I think you'll be okay. Sorry about the arm, but, um, you know, regardless, I hope this guided meditation has brought you the serenity you seek. My name is Louis Prada, and this has been Meditation Minute. Uh, namaste. Wow. I certainly cut this podcast in half. Am I right? <laughs> yeah. Okay, welcome back to the show. Uh, um, uh, let's let's see. Uh, let's do... Uh, oh, uh, who came up with this? It was 90s Discoveries. Who oh, came yeah, with that? it was me. Miller. Oh, and Stu, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, Stu, I guess... I guess Actually, no, Matt, you start us off. Let's right. go around. Um, my... Whoa, what does this mean? Chamo? Charno? Oh, no, I can't read my own writing. Wait a minute. Maybe you start, and I'll try to figure out what this says. <laughs> All right. I, I, Sorry I put, about that, guys. I, I should have put this probably higher on the list, Wait, just... but I came up with drugs and sex. Those are oh. two things I discovered Hello. in the yeah, 90s. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. To be fair, number one is my sexuality. So, <laughs> And number four is MDMA, so we're there, buddy. Well, yeah, uh, honestly, my number my number five is French kissing. There you go. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, we all kind of went in that sexy kind of route. <laughs> Uh, my list kind of expands on that, but you know, I, okay. I don't want to spoil Mine it. Mine doesn't. Five yeah. Sex, right? <laughs> yeah. So, so yeah. So yeah, I, I went with French kissing cause you know, tongues are all great. Fair enough. Know? And I'll try to keep discovering and figuring out what this says right now. I think it says chamel. Chamel? So chamel is my number five. I literally can't. Oh, Channel, the Discovery Channel. <laughs> wow! Wow! So in the nineties, top, really top like, discoveries of yeah, the nineties. Channel. channel. There you go. Yeah. All wow, right. I confused myself on that. I one, know. Guys. Honestly, it, was, it would have been a good joke. <laughs> but yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I really love that. Not on the podcast anymore. <laughs> You're fired. Get out of here. Too many of those. <laughs> Get out of here. Uh, uh, so yeah, channel number four. <laughs> Do you want me to start at number four? We'll yeah, go back yeah, go, okay. go. yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So my number four would be, and I said it before, MDMA. Not that I was a huge ecstasy guy ever, and honestly. I never really liked it. And, and here's a weird side story. So when I was in high school, I was on like the most Prozac all the time, right? <laughs> and because of that, I was immune to drugs. So I took ecstasy like 40 <laughs> times without any effect. And all of my friends- A lot of those benzos will actually like counteract. Absolutely. Yeah, Mushrooms yeah, yeah. too, they yeah. counteracted. So for a yeah. while, I was like, I would look up at the sky when all my friends would like, we'd all do ecstasy and all my friends would visibly be fucked up. And I'd be sober as day. I'd be like, am I from this planet? Yeah, like what the yeah. fuck? So, but MDMA I though, must be a superhero. It was a fun scene. I like the movie Go. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. The music was cool. Do you, you know what the French call MDMA? Hum DMA. I like it. Yeah. Because uh, of the metric system? Yes, it's metric. And, 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 and this is, I know this isn't a pro-recreational pro drug show, but I, the times of my life I have done that, I do prefer like 90s ecstasy to current day like Molly or Moon Rocks. Indeed. Which uh, make me terrified. Yeah. No, I, I, I'll, 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 I'll go with you yeah, on that yeah, one. I, I take, yeah, it was fun, Ben. All right. So yeah. yeah, exactly. Uh, I'm reminiscing right now. I know, stop. I know. Me too. <laughs> uh, I'm, getting, I'm, getting, I'm getting pretty wistful <laughs> myself. Yeah. Far away, please. Like, yeah, just like, Starting off to the distance. In the like, 90s in Manhattan. Yeah, and shit. it really yeah. was. <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, I guess it's not going to mean much to, at least to Mac. I don't know about Matt, but uh, I put GPS as number four. Yeah, I was talking about that to my dad today. He was trying to remember. I was trying to remember when he first got GPS. You know what I mean? It was only and that was the nineties. Yeah, it was the nineties, and yeah. it was it. it Extra it, maps before that. I, yeah, I like in Ohio. I used to drive around with a map <laughs> of Ohio. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Like I used to drive around with a map of Ohio in my car, and like you'd have to pull over unfold the map, figure out where you were, and then memorize the directions to go there. Yeah. So, so GPS was a really helpful well, thing. Well, well, <laughs> out in here in LA, they had what, Thomas Guides? Thomas Guides, and then in New York, um, my dad called them, there was a company that was called Hackstrom. They were like, those maps that had like the weird three ring binder rings yes, on the side. Yes, yeah, no, and every taxi driver exactly. had one. In the, exactly, in the, in and the then I remember switching to like, going to a fish show and printing out eight pages of map quest directions. Oh yeah. <laughs> and then you get, if you're not driving, you're the like, direction assigner. Yep. <laughs> Fucking suck. It sucks. <laughs> yeah. Be like, room 590, over there, over there. Yeah. I don't know where we are. Uh, <laughs> number four, Matt? Oh, number four. Uh, um, so I said five was French kissing. So uh, uh, number four is heavy petting. 
Yeah, because yeah, do you remember that? Do you remember? Yeah. Do you remember when you were a kid and you actually didn't really know what you were doing? Yes, and you kind of would just kind of like, you know, grab boobies and stuff, uh, <laughs> you know, uh, over think. over clothing. <laughs> yeah, like that was like you know, the figuring that stuff out. Like honestly, that was a discovery for me. That, oh, yeah, yeah, of course I it was. I remember <laughs> being like fifteen and dry humping a girl over our clothing and being like, "This is the greatest thing that ever happened." And then she leaned in and kissed me, and I went like, "Whoa." <laughs> what was that? Whoa. Fluid exchange. She went a kiss, and I was like, "Oh, what okay. are you? What are you, Julia Roberts? Yeah. Like, you know, yeah, just, no, no, just no kissing. <laughs> but yeah, heavy petting. Just, petting yeah, just yeah, discovering, discovering bodies. Look at yeah. My number three discovery of the '90s, and I know Stu will come with me on this. I thought we were on four. Are we not on four? I did my fourth already. Oh yeah, no, 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 no he's no, three. Okay. He's yeah, three. He's three. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. My number three is a magical little boy who lived. Mr. Harry Potter. Oh, gosh. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. All right. Believe right. right. yeah. right. right. it or not, I don't think I started reading it till the 2000s, probably. Yeah, I didn't start reading it until 2000. Well, like 1997, that first book came out, and I fucking love Harry Potter. I know, I know, I can tell. I really do. Both yeah. of you guys do. I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm do it. Listen, I'm the minority yeah, here. <laughs> yeah, and now I know how yeah, it feels. Idiot. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Jerk off over here. Yeah, cool. I don't love your wizarding world, you jerks. I still, uh, I, no. yeah, I still know where Patronus is. <laughs> <laughs> We've got this. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, again? It's, it's a mastiff, mastiff right? Yeah. Tag, were you? I can't. Uh, dog, I think. That's mastiff. Yeah, all right. Yeah, I know. You, you, we don't have the same Patronus. So um, just letting you know. Hey, hey, <laughs> you, you don't have the same. No, honestly, no, no. There's no if way. You do I'm re-registering? <laughs> yeah, there's, 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 there's no way we have the same fucking Patronus. <laughs> JK, help us. Uh, three new Patronus for Mac. <laughs> three for me was uh, cloning. When they clone the sheep, uh, that is my number yeah, two. Dolly, Dolly, Dolly yeah. is my number two friend. Oh, yeah. cool! There you go. So we can we can combine this because okay. you had Dolly and you had multiplicity in a short span, and you were like, the future is bright. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. More meat, more Michael meat, Keaton. more meat. Yeah. <laughs> two meat, three. <laughs> uh, um, you know, my uh, my number three is uh, dry humping. Yeah, yeah, yep. we already yeah. covered it. It's yeah, great. exactly. Yeah. No, it, it was great. Like, yeah, you kind of covered. Dry it humping's and, fun. Yeah. yeah, no, I know, but you, you come in your own shorts, and there's that. You know, if yeah. you dry hump to completion, I've dry humped to completion. Back, Definitely back, in my like teenage back, years back, back, in the '90s. Back, back in the '90s, <laughs> like Hell yeah. much before you completed. <laughs> honestly, I kind of, I, honestly, I kind of miss it. You know, yeah, <laughs> you know, yeah. Set <laughs> <laughs> clothing on. I, yeah. Hey, lady, come over here. No, no, I don't miss the embarrassment. Keep it on. Girl, <laughs> I, I like a little mystery. Yeah, exactly. No, no, no. Am I in? Who knows? No, no, no. <laughs> Keep those pants on. Um, my number two we covered. Number two and one yeah. for me was Dolly. And again, my oh, so we'll go two over here. Uh, DVDs, oh, so DVDs. Oh, yeah, that was a nineties thing. That was a nineties thing. That was that. I, that kind of blew my mind. We all of a sudden went from cassette tapes to DVD. Uh, you know, the, qual and the quality took a major jump. Yeah, it did. And like it also, uh, I feel like there were things that didn't like movies and TV shows that didn't get enough credit when they had first come out, and then all of a sudden DVDs came yeah, totally. out and like things got rediscovered. Yeah, and like, and what like, was your guy was what, saved by DVDs? What was your first shit, DVD? Yeah. Uh, probably The Matrix, I think. Really? Uh, yeah. Remember your? Uh, so uh, uh, mine was Pulp Fiction. Yeah, okay. mine, mine was. Uh, well, it wasn't even mine because they wanted to test the machine when they were installing it. And so it was Thunderdome. It was Mad Max uh, Beyond okay. Thunderdome. Nice. Yeah. Can't we all just get beyond <laughs> Thunderdome? Um, Wait, what's your number two? Uh, my you number two, oh, uh, uh, oral sex. Uh, yeah, yeah, I discovered that in the 90s, too. Yeah, yeah see? Yeah. <laughs> I discovered... <laughs> Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that was uh, very, very important to me. Yeah. Listen, all of mine have to do something with sex. You know that, right? That's fine. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I know my cats are kind of. I think one of them threw up, and now they're all eating. <laughs> no, no, no. It's it's it, they got a shrimp. Oh, tail. they got the shrimp. Oh. Back. They just got a shrimp tail. Oh, okay, it looked like up. Oh, no, goes no, it's it. okay. Pan, Panda's going to take care of it. <laughs> Sorry for interrupting the podcast. We're now just watching animals through a glass window. I know, and they're eating. Who's in the zoo? Am I right? They're all. They're, they're all, in the house, and we're out of it. <laughs> I know, and they're, you, you can tell by the the plane that's going overhead right now. <laughs> yes, this is what it would look like if animals lived in houses. <laughs> 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 I guess. Yeah. Is a more appropriate one. Uh -huh. <laughs> it's kind of cute. 
Um, You're number one. My number one, I said my sexuality, man. Oh, okay. There you yeah. go. Uh, and I honestly, see all of the things Max said. My, my number one is just sex. Yeah, yeah. yeah. There you go. Just sex in general. I, my, I feel my, so lame. My number one's the internet, but all right. I mean, no, that my, has a lot to do with me discovering my sexuality. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Yeah. I, have, yeah, I went from French kissing to heavy petting to dry humping to oral <laughs> sex to just sex sex. You, you worked all the bases and got right to home. Yeah, I did it. I did it. Yeah. There we go. Next category up. Yeah. Um, um, yeah, uh, I think you get to choose, yeah, right? Let's yeah. Do, um, let's go for 90s animals. This was a Mac category. Ooh. Uh, yeah, Mac, start, start us off. Oh, yeah, I'm supposed to start. Um, okay. Uh, this one actually was a difficult one for me, so I'm going to throw up my easiest one. Doesn't that always happen when you pick the category? Yeah, it no, really, really does. No uh, fucking me, shit. Me too, like, though. Like, uh, uh, um, uh, I'm going to go with Eddie uh, from Frasier. Because okay. it made me, it made me want Jack Russell's. Yeah, sure. yeah, yeah, yeah. And like, yeah, he was. A, he Did was you a, ever yeah. have a Jack Russell? No, oh. no. Like, it made you well, want it a little bit. <laughs> well, exactly. Like, no. It may, now that I have a yard, yeah. you know, yeah. Then I, I, you know, I, I wouldn't, you know, wouldn't be surprised if we get one. I probably won't though. <laughs> so I want something else. Um, but yeah, no. Honestly, he was cute as fuck, and he's yeah. dead now. Here's the thing: is that because these are '80s and '90s, like dogs, cats, whatever. Yeah. There. Yeah. Uh, guess what? They're all dead. Yeah, they're all, all going to be mine. dead. I'm pretty sure yours are going to be dead. You'll see. Oh, okay, uh, yeah. okay, okay. Yeah. No, my honestly, five yes. is that cat from the last action hero that works in the police department. That's a cartoon cat. <laughs> <randomly. laughs> <laughs> by Danny DeVito. Yeah, so the, the, the DJ Cool Cat yeah, or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, man, that guy's cool. And guess what? He's alive as fuck. <laughs> yeah. Wait, Danny DeVito still alive? Don't crash. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> <Yeah>. um, <laughs> Cartoon cats don't crack. Yeah, that guy was great. You were like, "Oh man, I want to work in that police department if that cat's there." <laughs> yeah. He seems fun. Honestly, yeah. No, now I want to police. That cat uh, got me too by now, guaranteed, you guys. Yeah, no, totally. So did Baby Herman. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Who literally assaults a woman in that film? Yes, he does. Okay, sorry. Go ahead. Uh, I, had, I had Spud <laughs> McKenzie. Now, what, what, <laughs> what? Too soon? <laughs> Spud McKenzie from the 90s? No, we had 80s and 90s. 80s and 90s. Was Spud McKenzie in the 80s? I yeah. It was the 1940s. No, 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 he's in the 80s. Like the Vic Tro- is it not the Victrola dog? No. Is it not the same dog? No, different oh, Spud dog. Spud McKenzie's a beer thing. He's a no, beer that, dog. That, that dog is dead. Okay. <laughs> and so is Spud. So is Spud. So Spud. Yeah. But, uh, but, uh, yeah, yeah. No, no, totally 80s. Look at Budweiser, right? Yeah, it was Budweiser. Yeah. yeah he drank beer in the commercials with the dog? It, like everybody drank beer was, around him, was, but he, he was, was the mascot. life of the party. He a, yeah, he's like Slurms McKenzie. Can you, uh, from from Duffman? <laughs> from, from no, from a uh, Duffman. But Duff 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 Slurms <laughs> McKenzie from was from a Futurama. From Futurama. Well, yeah. 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 What, what was it? Waza, waza, waza. Yeah, that something was like that. Phrase. Exactly. He was like a slug. Or something. And, yeah. and every time like the cameras were off, he's like, oh, oh god, <laughs> oh god, please, please kill me. I'm so tired of partying. Uh, Mac, number four. Oh, uh, let's see. My number four. Um, all right, I'll go with Sabrina the Teenage Witch and S- Salem. Yes. Because that one talked. Yes. Yeah. And, there you, go. you know, I, I, I watched that show. Like, it was an appointment television, but when it was on, <laughs> I watched you it. made an appointment sure. for it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, no, you know, but like, yeah, when I watched it, I was like, hey, there's Salem. There's, uh, what's his name? I forget the name. It was a radio guy. Uh, her bu- her boyfriend kid? Yeah, the, the, the guy who did the voice. Shock. I don't know. Saban, <laughs> something like that. Um, but yeah, no, um, perfectly charming, because what it is, is oh, that- wait, you mean the voice of Salem? Yes. Was it Chris Sabin, the voice actor? That's, that's what I'm saying. Like One Piece in Dragon Ball Z? I'm pretty sure. I never knew that. That's why that's I said, crazy. yeah, that's oh, wow. what I mean, Saban. Apparently you knew it once. <laughs> yeah, no, obviously, <laughs> obviously you do. <laughs> Not a, but I, I, I love from, like, long shots, it was a real cat, and when you got up close, it was a terrible <laughs> replica. Terrible, it was just terrible. terrible. It was yeah. the worst. It was like that fox puppet in, yes. um, in um, Lars von Trier's Antichrist. Have <laughs> <laughs> you guys seen that movie? No, yeah, of course. Who hasn't seen Lars von Trier's it's, uh, uh, <laughs> Willem Dafoe and like his wife go in the woods and she cuts her vagina off and then <laughs> a really scary movie fair enough and then out of nowhere this fox this like horrible looking fox puppet pops up and goes chaos reigns and it's like my favorite dumb thing in a movie ever <laughs> Jesus fair enough <laughs> fuck you Lars so, like, so, uh, so it's like Salem <laughs> yeah basically it's like Salem from uh, Sabrina my number four very much still alive very much of the 90s very much an animal kind of it's Pikachu okay yeah okay uh, yeah, yep. you got it yeah, yeah definitely yeah, absolutely man, I'm a Pokemaniac are, are are you? Yeah, because okay, yeah. I'm a little too old for it. Yeah, yeah I was too. too old for it too. 
But I have, <laughs> I have my sword on, and I have played every Pokemon game that's ever come out. I have a Togepi tattoo on under my heart. Yeah, I love Pokemon. It's like a do, major do, part of my life. Did you play uh, Pokemon Go? I or did, did you? I did. And you don't anymore. I don't anymore but yeah. me and friend of <laughs> it's the too show. Too much exercise. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. <laughs> might be revealing, but me and the friend of the show, Dr. Seth Green, went to go see Detective Pikachu opening night. In theaters, how to go? Loved it. Seth liked it more than I did. Really? Because yeah. I, I heard not so great things about it. It's got look for what it could have been. I'm happy. Like if it is just a proof of. <laughs> I'm going to watch it on an airplane. That's It'll my plan. Great air- hey, that's, that's what I'm saying. International incredible airplane movie. That's what I'm talking. Fair I saw enough. It in theaters on an airplane. I would be Perfect. so fucking happy. When you're trapped yeah. in, in, a, yeah, in, in, in a pressurized tube, shit. thirty thousand <laughs> feet above the stupid shit, earth. Right? Yeah, 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 sure. Like, yeah. Uh, number four for you, Stu. Uh, the Tramp from Lady and the Tramp. Okay. I well they re- alive. they re release it in the eighties. That is canonical it. name. Yeah. He didn't have a name. Yeah, he was just Tramp. He okay. was just Tramp. She was Lady. Yeah. Fair enough. And yeah. and there's a, a specific part that I love because I because he didn't have an owner, so nobody named him. Yeah. It's uh, uh, there's there's a point where he turns to her and he's like, "Hey, you ever chase chickens?" And she's like, "No, I should say not." And he's like, "Oh, then you've never lived." And I'm like, "That's exactly like the expression that my dog had when he used to chase chickens." No, I, also. I, I, I just thought it was one of those things. Where it's like, it's exactly what I want to do. <laughs> I just want to chase chickens. Oh, this just, just the look of happiness on his face when mm-hmm. he starts chasing them. <laughs> well, like, I mean, fancy for that. Well, yeah, yeah. That, that was a re-release in the '80s. That actually isn't originally '80s, okay, but I, yeah, but also I, I I did see it in the theaters in the '80s. So it's, yeah, it counts, it counts. It counts. All right, my number three. Um, I got Buck from from uh, uh, a Married with Children. Oh yeah, oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, yeah. He's a big old bearded collie, and I yeah. just love how his name is so close to the son's name. It's a Bud <laughs> and yeah. Buck. You know, like, like, <laughs> it's like some, here's some Married with Children trivia for you. Do you guys remember after Buck died, what the name of the second dog was? No, no, Lucky. Ooh, okay. okay. Look yeah. at that. Look at that, kids. You learn something I new every day. Season, but they got a second dog on that show. It was probably yeah. like season like eight or something like that. I think, I think it went eight. Did it really? Yeah, Ow. I think it really did. Uh, is it me? Yep. Yeah, yeah. Give us give us your number, My number uh, three. two or three. Number three, yeah. three, number three yeah. is an animal sort of, but that's part of the fun of him. He can be whatever you want. Because or Pikachu is kind of an animal. In your imagination, it's Figment from Epcot and Journey into the Imagination. That little dragon dude. Oh, what's his name? Figment. Figment. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Okay. He was like a little purple dragon. People were huge fans he of him. The Epcot mascot. I had never heard of him until I watched a Funkland. Oh, I love Figment, dude. I went on that ride as a kid, and he's just like, everything is boring in Epcot and science, and suddenly there's a dragon talking to you, and he's like, "Hi, you yeah. silly." Yeah. <laughs> no, it, it's. I, I actually didn't understand uh, the um, the South Park episode, the Imagination Land with, one, with, with, with the guy who like yeah, who's like the the the, the mayor. Imagination. It's more like imagination. Hey. No, no, it, it, uh, two, two sip uh, on the key. Imagine. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, and I had a stuffed, I had a stuffed figment too, which I loved. Like it was just a cool looking. It looked like Lockheed. Yeah, X-Men. yes, yes. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, all right, all right. Still alive. Uh, yeah. Also, I think. Well, you could say he's still alive. I have uh, Sprocket from um, from Fraggle Rock. Okay. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Well, Sprocket was the uh, dog. was the dog of the. Was uh, he Sprocket? Yeah. yeah. The guy who owned okay. Dogs. Yeah. 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 Get in here. <laughs> yeah. 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 Sprocket. He was always going after the Fraggles. Yeah. Yeah. No. Yeah. Actually, <laughs> speaking of Defunct Land, they're actually doing a Jim Henson like retrospective. Like, oh, I've been watching that Muppets. I, I've been watching the Muppets one. They, they just came out with the Fraggle Rock one like a day or so ago. Ah, uh, I gotta watch that. Yeah. Yeah. It's good. It's good stuff. No. I. I yeah. No. Sprocket. Sprocket's great. Sprocket was great. Number two, Colks. Uh, okay, I'm going with uh, um, Clarissa's pet yeah. alligator, Elvis. Yep, I knew his name. Yep. His did name is Elvis. Did you do this on bunny ears? No, no. Maybe, okay, then maybe it was just my personal life. That came up recently, and, and <laughs> half the room was convinced it was a real alligator, and half the room was convinced it was an alligator puppet. I was on the half convinced real. <laughs> Bad news for my half. Yeah, I was going to say, it's <laughs> a puppet. Was, that was just a puppet, yeah. yeah of course. I was like, yeah, it was a baby alligator. <laughs> yeah, no, no, it's Nickelodeon. They, couldn't, me, they, they couldn't afford a baby <laughs> alligator. sold me on that A lot show. of red tape to <laughs> yeah, clear yeah, up yeah. to get a real so alligator. So quirky. <laughs> I know, it, it, was just, it, it was just so absurd that she had a pet baby alligator. So, like, yeah, no, you know, I, it's memorable. You uh, MJH back in the 90s, huh? <laughs> oh, apparently. <laughs> you know, yeah, that's it from her shows. <laughs> yes, yeah, and that's what I mean. Like, yeah, I'm on like, Melissa Joan Hart. the movie Down With Love or whatever it was called. No, not down with love, you know what I'm talking. Down, down to you, down to, down to you. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, no, loved it. Yeah, Adrian Grenier, I think. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, my number what two, my number two animal is the lion that auditions to be the Cadbury Bunny. 
Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. The... <laughs> and then the one... oh, it's, there's a lion in there. The lion's like, well, he's probably alive too. <laughs> that commercial in general was great because you're like, I would go with these other animals over a normal chicken. Yeah, no, yeah, honestly, very, they, yeah, I, I think it's a, I think it's a strong move. You know, yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. I'd much rather be a lion than yeah. to not. You know, yes. Oh, that's that fucking candy that has a lion in its commercials. Eat some right now. Yeah, the the li- yeah. You the, mean the lion candy? Yeah, the lion chicken. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I'll take it. Look at yeah. Um, I went with Alf for number two. Alf? Yeah, yep. I guess. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, he's a, yeah, yeah. I mean, he's, yeah, he's an animal, sort if, of. If, if Pikachu, like, yes. Okay, yeah. fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's he, an alien. He I would have an alien. That's fine. He's sentient. Fair enough. <laughs> I know. I'm just saying, he's sentient. So, you remember okay, his real honestly, name? He's, he's, Stu, Stu, you're 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 skirting the rules, but uh, you know, right. well, but you know, I'm gonna do the. I'll allow it. <laughs> you guys remember his real name? Alien life form? Out? No, no, that's what Alf stood I've for. I've never seen a full episode okay. of Alf. <laughs> yeah, I mean, so Alf's real name on the planet he's from, he's called Alien Life Form when he gets to Earth. Yeah. But on the planet he's from, his name is Gordon Shumway. <laughs> oh, there you go. I've always, that's always been like, yeah, that's a weird thing to be on Alf. What is that, Polish? I watched, what is that? I watched Alf. <laughs> I did. And I liked when they came out with the cartoon, Alf. Me too. I had I like that cartoon. Yeah. I had I had Alf Converse growing up, and I don't know why, because I never watched a single episode of it. But I, I had to walk around with great. Alf he Alf on cats. my feet. Yeah. He yeah. did. There you go. All right. Number one. Rest in peace, Alf. Number one for me. Uh Toonses. Yes, the Toonses driving cat. the driving cat from yes. SNL. <laughs> Toons is the oh, driving yeah. cat. Yeah, and like yeah, and it would always end with like some B-roll of, <laughs> of a car of going, a car going, going over. <laughs> it was yeah, that was that was pretty good. It was just like yeah, just one of those ginger cats. I and, yeah, I yeah. liked I liked when um, they were doing the spoof on Terminator Two, and and Toons yes. was the T- was the the, yeah, 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 it was like <laughs> half of his face was missing. But it was like a cyborg all of a sudden. Like yeah, yeah. No, Toonses. Toonses was uh, one of my favorites growing up. So All right. there you go. Number number one over here. Number Cohen. one, Mr. Roger Rabbit. Oh, there you oh, go. Of course. Rabbit. Yep. He's from the nineties. Yep. Maybe eighties actually. Eighty nine, I think. Yeah, he's, he's an eighties dude. Regardless, yeah. he's the best. Yeah, he, he was awesome. If you go by the logic of that world, he is staggeringly attractive. <laughs> <laughs> the female cartoons want to fuck him, and it's yeah. like you go like he's got something going on. He's a funny Obviously, guy. Obviously, you know, yeah. Um, yeah. yeah, Roger Rabbit, man. Yeah, no, love it, love it. Yeah, no, and Jessica Rabbit is all about it. Like, yeah, uh, the best. Listen, I have to agree with Jessica. And Betty Boop, what a lucky coil. <laughs> what a lucky you oil. Uh, uh, what you got, Stuart? I went uh, Garfield for number one. Okay. I just seems like a you answer. I, I wasn't really, like, <laughs> as I got older, I was like, eh, Garfield, not that great. But, like, when I was in the 80s and 90s, like, I fucking loved Garfield. And Garfield and How'd Friends. How'd you feel about Heathcliff? I also loved Heathcliff, Where's actually. Where's your stance on Top Cat? Uh, I didn't really get into Top Cat. Oh, exit stage I pre- left. I, prefer I get it. Top yeah, Cat, yeah. I prefer Top Cat to Heathcliff, if I'm being honest. <laughs> okay. Because he was scrappy. Although, uh, I liked Felix the Cat more than anybody else. Oh, there you go. That checks yeah. out. And yeah, the, yeah. The, 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 yeah, that scans. Yeah. That scans. <laughs> checks out. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you have all those Garfield. I had all those Garfield like books as a kid, like the comics. Yeah, 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 of course. Yeah, like you know, yeah, those, those, easy, easy reading. Those, those little things that you could put on your window of your car with the the suction cups. Suction cups. Yeah, 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 yeah. I had a Ren one. Um. All right. Well, uh, let's see. Worry, let's go right? with what favorite are, commercials of the eighties and nineties. Commercials. You want to do commercials? All right. We'll yeah. do commercials. Uh, and number five for me, it's got to be the Mentos commercial. Like well, 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 which series. one? Which the whole one? series. I mean, uh, which I was going a which one? lot more with like advertising campaigns. The the whole okay. Mentos thing, like the the people moving do, the do, car. Do, do, do. Uh, <laughs> nothing gets to you. <laughs> I don't know. Saying fresh, saying true. <laughs> with Mentos, Mentos fresh and full of life. Yeah. Mentos freshness. <laughs> Mentos, Mentos freshness. Mentos, 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 Mentos fresh and full of life. Bum, bum, bum. Mentos, the, the fresh, fresh maker. maker. We're the best. We uh, now owe Mentos $10,000. Yeah. Or you guys do. Ha 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 In your face, Culkin. <laughs> We're going to get a whole bunch of boxes of Mentos for that. Uh, number five for you, bud. Uh, okay. Um, oh, I, I did a. Uh, there's that Purdue, Purdue chickens. Remember that? That guy with the big ears? No, no, no. It's Purdue chickens, and there's this commercial. It's it goes pick, 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 
I have no idea what you're talking what about. Song but I really enjoyed to? that. What melody was that? No, no, it's, it's actually like I'm gonna pull it up. I'm gonna pull it up for you guys. I don't care. I'm gonna keep the mics hot, and I'm gonna pull this up. I should say these mics are scalding. That's I don't know what you guys are doing differently, yeah. but <laughs> hey, hey, that, was, that was great. Getting him to sing that is fantastic. No, I want him to sing it again. <laughs> we want to hear the ad, and then we want to hear you sing it. I'll again. tell you what. While he's looking it up, sure. Matt, what? My, uh, my number five was and twins because <laughs> I just like saying that. Do you not know what that is? No, what is that? <laughs> that sounds really familiar. I believe it was Coors Light, and it was these two like like buxom blonde twins. I do remember that. And it was wow. Like, what do you like? Football and wings and something and twins. And twins. And it was like pop up holding beer always. Okay. I just I just like a good and twins reference to this day. Here we go, guys. So here's the thing: there's a there's a chicken in the fridge. Yep. And it keeps on getting picked at. In the fridge. Pick up a Brilliant. Purdue oven stuffer roaster every week, <laughs> so there'll always be something around to pick on. <laughs> I thought they were like parodying a famous song, but it's just its own thing. This is the big, big, big song. <laughs> now, what a chicken looks like at the end? That's gross. <laughs> so there you go. So you guys say you got a little little Purdue in your life right now. You, yeah, five. I don't know that we got uh, number, number four. Yeah. I don't oh, know that this counts. I I was still going just advertising campaigns. I used to like collecting absolute vodka ads. ads. My and, brother collected them obsessively, and he collected milk ads. And I'm talking about like that's my number three. <laughs> they were they kept them in binders, and he would buy like foreign like French Vogue for this specific ad. Yep. that only appeared. He wound up selling his collection on eBay for like a thousand dollars when he was like thirteen or something. Ah, uh, see, I just posted mine on my walls, so like my entire bedroom wall was absolute vodka ads. My brother was smart at like eleven, and my parents were like, "What the fuck is wrong you with milk, you?" Oh, milk ads is on yours too. No, yeah. no, no. Well, I no, yes, I, I have a campaign. Honestly, yeah. I'm surprised it wasn't just a wall full of milk ads though <laughs> Columbus Ohio and that all was, that. my yeah. younger brother had all the milk ads on his <laughs> you guys are great. adorable yeah oh you Millers <laughs> you pee Millers um all right World let's War see two fighter plane flying above I mean no no fucking shit <laughs> Jesus Christ oh yeah yeah I mean just for for the listening audience yeah we're, we're in my backyard uh for, it's on a World War II base <laughs> it's on a World War II base well for people who have been listening like I've been talking about moving for a while Guess what? We actually did it. It happened. We actually, it happened. <laughs> and so, like, I wanted to sit outside because I have a yard. Like, I, I make fists with my toes in the grass. Have, you, have so. you ever podcasted outside before? No, this is the first go, man. It's the second go, my friend. How you forget the oh, stairs of Ber- sitting Berlin. on the stairs in Berlin. <laughs> yes, yes, in Berlin. Yes. <laughs> Even then it was noisy, too. Well, I, I thought but there are no wasps this time. Yeah, I thought, I thought, I thought, I thought <laughs> I you to meant whether or not it was my first podcast here. Yeah. Oh, at this place. Actually, this is actually my first podcast here at this place in general. Really? I'm honored. Uh, and I'm, I'm, trying out, I'm trying out the outdoors, but Jesus Christ, Burbank Airport's <laughs> killing me right now. I swear okay, to God. Okay, you there, folks. You can cross-triangulate where he lives by the, t- <laughs> by the flight pattern of Burbank yes. Airport. What time yes. of day, what plane. I'm pretty sure that's Dallas-Fort Worth, uh, <laughs> uh, South Southwest Airlines. Yeah, they found QAnon, guys. Uh, yeah, there you go. Um, uh, I think uh, what it, I think it's on me, Matt, right? Yeah, four. yeah, four. Uh, oh, uh, there's a the, there's the. I think I'm pretty sure it's Fruity Pebbles. Uh, um, but it's like you know, you like, Barney, yeah. my pebbles. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's know this. Yes, Come on, yeah, yeah. Here, guys, the old bunny ears favorite. <laughs> yes, <it's, laughs> it's your pebbles. <laughs> Tis the season to be sharing, Fred. <laughs> no, I'm, 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 letting, I'm letting him oh, go. Oh, come on. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> we're, we're letting, yeah, we're letting, we're letting Stu go. Uh, happy happy holidays, pal. Oh, Fred. <laughs> yeah. yes, honestly, it did. It did ho, 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 I'm ho, hungry. Yeah, yeah, that's the beginning uh, of it. We skipped past all, all right, that. All right, all right. <laughs> but yes, honestly, it did stick to my ribs. And it, you know, it, it would give me a warm feeling. You know, if I, you know, whenever I see it again. Yeah, sure. Uh, mine was that WWE Super Bowl commercial where they like walk through the offices in Stanford, oh, and everyone was that's like. Awesome. Awesome. Fucking blowing up and like bursting through the walls and like falling out of the ceiling. That's and awesome. Shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it was awesome, awesome. Yeah. No, like, yeah. Was that, that, that's actually where they like one of the few times WWE really hits like the mainstream on the, no- on the nose. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. No, that one, that, that's hilarious. It, 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 it holds up today. Yeah. Yeah. Stu? Uh, well, I already did my three, which was got, got milk. Oh, oh yeah, got, got milk. milk. All right. Yeah. Uh, um, let's see what I got here. Oh, it's a, the, uh, there's a Tootsie Pop commercial. Uh, that I like. <laughs> yes, yeah, yes. with the owl. Uh, um, actually, no, it's it's actually a different one. Okay. Uh, uh, no, no, actually, no. Never mind. It's not Tootsie Pop. It's Lucky Charm or Lucky. Like, what was it? Lucky uh, Charms. 
Not Lucky Charms. It's the other pops, like the little uh, the lollipops. Low pop. Low oh, pops. pops. Yeah. Yes. Because I just remember there was a girl I went to school with. Yeah, here comes she another plane. Flies an airplane. And now she's and flying she you. over Boy, me right close, now. Too. Hold for roll. <laughs> uh, um, <laughs> uh, but yes, no, it was a. Uh, um, uh, 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 what blow tootsie pop? pops? Blue blow pops. Yeah, yeah. I knew it was a pop. Um, <laughs> and uh, um, yeah, no. Actually, I had a crush on like one of the girls because I went to school with her. Her name is Lauren Gaffney. Hi, Lauren Gaffney. Uh, um, and I she remember that name. She, we, we, you had a crush on her. Uh, totally. Oh, okay. Yeah, this isn't like newest. We her. we went to school with each other, and like yeah, it was like one of those things where we were really, like sixth through eighth grade together, and she was like in that commercial, and I, I thought she was super cute. She also played Annie on Broadway. Nice. And then, uh, and then by the time we got to high school, she was gone. And I was like, oh, finally. Uh, Sorry, dude. I'm finally ready for some <laughs> French heavy, kissing, French heavy kissing, petting. heavy petting, dry <laughs> humping, oral sex, and sex. So <laughs> in that order. <laughs> yes, yes. In that exact order. So, uh, uh, yes. But yeah, uh, her, her line was sour apple. <laughs> so, yeah. so there you go. And, so that wasn't so much your favorite commercial as the thing you used to jerk hey, off to. Listen, I remembered it. Okay, <laughs> okay listen. Like I was having a hard time with this category. All right. <laughs> uh, number three for me was just '90s Super Bowl commercials in general. Oh, like uh, like uh, Budweiser. Uh, Budweiser. Oh, awesome. Like I don't like to, nowadays. Like What's the, up? The Super Bowl commercials kind of suck now, in my opinion. Yeah. And back in the day, they were like big events. Like that was the reason to watch the yeah. game. I, yeah. I'd say like this past year, there was what like two maybe that were memorable. I guess it was yeah. like and also shit. They were good, but also I wouldn't say memorable because I can't remember them. exactly. I just yeah. remember liking about one or two commercials. But I remember like the GoDaddy commercial with Candice Michelle, who later went on at WWE. Yeah, yeah. it was like huge. And I remember like the Britney Spears Pepsi commercial. Sure, Super Bowl halftime. No, that's what I mean. Was up yeah, Budweiser yeah. The with the frogs. Yep. yep. I still have a t-shirt of them do you remember the tabasco sauce commercial no the guy keeps he's in the bayou and he keeps putting on tabasco sauce on his pizza and he's like pouring in more and more and more and then he takes a bite out of it and some like mosquito comes up to him oh and, and sucks it, oh, his blood and, and yeah, explodes yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Good no, shit. No, didn't remember that. And nope. Only, only those five no, nothing, horses. Nothing. Not, 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 not until you said something. There's always one horse spot where Budweiser's like, eh, we don't need to make it entertaining. Just show some fucking horses. Yeah, exactly. with, like, with the dog. Throw yeah. a dog in there. Yeah, just like, a little one. These are old horses and here, they love here, beer. Here and Clydesdales. <laughs> They've been alive for 200 years. Yeah. Um, so number two for me was... Uh, the no wrong way to eat a Reese's campaign. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember that. Like, I auditioned for one of those. Did you? Yeah, I remember because I was the the audition was I would come out there and go I like my Reese's with and then I pull up, pull out a, a cow yes, and go milk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I, didn't, I didn't get the gig. I didn't get it. Is post Home Alone. Uh, no, yeah, yeah, of course. Like, can you imagine? <laughs> <laughs> no, we don't want the Home Alone kid to say milk. Uh, I think he said milk a little weird. <laughs> yeah. yeah. No, th this this predates it. This is when I was still auditioning. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, 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 I do remember that campaign. Yeah, like I remember, like they had a hockey player and like, so, like he was a goalie. Like an actual like hockey player, and they're like, "How so and so eats a Reese's," and somebody slap shots it into his mouth. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. It knocks out his teeth. I remember yeah, that. I remember it. I remember. Do remember right. that? My number two member. 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 Oh yeah, member. You remember? Um, uh, Crazy Eddie. Do you guys remember this? That he wouldn't. You wouldn't. Yeah, but I yeah, do because yeah. there was one in my hometown of Sayasa. Yeah, remember. yeah, yeah, like crazy Eddie's where the where the, where the sales are insane. It's like a Long Island in New York electronic store in the eighties. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Actually, I, I actually I googled it a couple of years ago. Uh, um, uh, but yeah, it still kind of exists as an online chain. But Eddie is dead. Eddie's long dead. It's like all the pets. Okay. Well, Eddie got arrested <laughs> like for like pets. like embezzling money from really? from crazy. He Eddie's. was crazy. Yep, yep. Uh, um, Yes, uh, uh, kids, if you want to see Crazy Eddie commercials, either you can go to your YouTube or also you can go to uh, the movie Splash. Is there a <laughs> because, because, <laughs> because that's one of the things that she learns English from is Crazy oh, awesome. Eddie's, where the prices are <laughs> insane. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, number two for me is, and I think this is an East Coast thing, maybe only a New York thing. And Mac, we've talked about this before, maybe not on the pod, but every year around Christmas, they would put out, a, I never had one. But there were commercials for something called Hess Trucks. 
Oh yeah, Pest yeah, Truck's yeah. back and it's better than ever. Hey la, hey la. The Pest Truck's here. And they were like white and green. Yeah. Always white and green. Because they were jets. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. And they would be like a fire truck or like an ambulance this year. Or like, I never had one. A helicopter. A helicopter. And yeah. it was every year they put out a different collectible Hess truck. Fun. And Hess was a gas station? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. It was a gas station yeah. in the Northeast. And, and you could buy them at the gas station. And they were owned by the owner of the Jets, the New York Jets. True. That's why they were that's green what, and white. That's why they were green that and white. That makes a lot of sense. Yes. Exactly. Makes a lot of sense. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yes. truck. Yeah. I know. You know what? Fuck. I, I, we have to totally eBay that after we're off the show. <laughs> Some old Hess real. trucks, honestly. Oh, yeah, honestly, <laughs> Hess trucks all around. <laughs> <laughs> you get a Hess truck, and you, you get, get a Hess, Hess truck. truck. <laughs> helicopter. Um, yeah, so, yeah. Uh, you want the helicopter? I got it. I got it. I got it. <laughs> uh, so for my number one, I had uh, one eight hundred collect and Butterfingers when the Simpsons. Did those? Oh, the Butterfingers you know, ones. Nobody better lay her finger on my Butterfinger BB, man. <laughs> but I, 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 you know, those those commercials introduced Millhouse. Millhouse originated yes. in the commercials and not on the show. Wait, seriously? Actually, yeah. I didn't know that. Pinky Prom. Okay. Uh, no, the the one that I really loved was one eight hundred collect when Homer was at the Grand Canyon and he's like, ah, the Grand Canyon, and what a Grand Canyon! It's moments like these that make me feel close to my family. I think I'll call him. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. There you go. <laughs> There you go. Uh, um, all right. My number one is all of the after these messages from ABC. <laughs> after <laughs> these yeah. messages, we'll be right back. There's there's like, honestly, you look them up. I actually did look them up recently. There's like, you know, there's a couple dozen of them. Yeah. And like all the claymation kind of thing. Sure. Shows, yeah, Nickelodeon did them too because... Um uh, oh no, MTV did them also. Those interstitials at the time. That was when like networks did weird, fucked up shit right before and after the commercials. Yeah, exactly. No, yeah, exactly. They'd, they'd have little that, like tags. That's, that's so you mm-hmm. could you could hit record on your VCR. I vividly yeah. remember the "We'll be right back" in front of a brick wall, and it was like a slimy guy that yeah. like came out of a puddle, and it yeah. like formed the but like it's letters. The, it's the ABC Saturday morning ones. Yeah, that's yeah. the ones. The after these messages, I'll be right back. Yeah, and then <laughs> exactly, exactly. <laughs> It'd be like a, a, a dog and a fire hydrant or something like yeah. that. Looking at, yeah, yeah. Uh, my honorable mention are all of like the super regional commercials because everyone has them. Like, oh, yeah, other yeah. than crazy ideas, do you know? Do you know PC Richards? Yeah, PC, R- PC yeah. Richards. Yeah. Do, do, yep. do, do, do. We had nobody yeah. beats the whiz. Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, um, one eight hundred mattress. One eight hundred mattress. Yeah. Like, there were these sort of things. <laughs> um, and, but but my real one, I th- and this was a weird one, but I, if I was like, fuck, what commercials do I like? Do you guys remember the Oreo commercial? I'm sure you do, where the guy is calling into the radio show to say that Aaron Burr shot I- Alexander Hamilton. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Was, That was a Got Milk commercial. Was that a Got Milk? It was yeah. Got Milk. Okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That commercial then is- that, uh, Directed by Michael Bay. Was it really? Yes, it was. How come nothing exploded? And how it, come he, he didn't explode? No, he women? did. He, well, Michael, you know, yeah, that's, I mean, that Aaron Burr career. did die. Yeah. That was before, like, that Armageddon was before and shit? all of that. Oh, wow. that's, that's like 95, 96. Like, wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah that commercial was great. Um, I, yeah, I, no, honestly, that's like, I still remember it too. Yeah. Can you? Honorable mention for me are the, uh, the sports center commercials. Like oh, that those, started those are, in the nineties. Honestly, I, I actually went down a YouTube hole with that also. Recently. I bet. And oh, I watched, so yeah. much fun. <laughs> the, 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 yeah. No, no, they were, they were good. Well into like the mid two thousands. Also. Yeah. Oh, yeah. One more honorable. The, um, the, the brain on drugs PSAs were fun. Oh with yes. The, the, the egg There's one. one Rachel Lee Cook. Rachel Lee Cook. She's so fucking mad in it. Honestly, she got like that little tank top thing on. There's one with Pee Wee Herman that, in it. That's that's what got her hired. Really? Yeah, yeah. For for uh, she sold that was they like uh, she's great in it because also she's super fucking yeah she's so cute so in it. cute yeah. so cute yeah, yeah. Pee Wee Herman did one. Um, yeah, there were all those this this is that- crack. Yeah. <laughs> 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 like, no, and, it's literally what he says. <laughs> he says it exactly like that. <laughs> yes, he does. <laughs> oh, great. Hi everyone, Sean Pasquale over here at Bunny Ears. This episode was so chock full of Matt Coheny goodness that we just had to split it up into two. That means you get not one, but two hot Matt Cohen injections in your podcasting listening experience. So tune in next week when we return with Matt Cohen. And as usual, be sure to find Matt on Twitter at Camel Toad. You can find Macaulay Culkin on Twitter at Incredible Culk and on Instagram at Culkamania. And you can find Bunny Ears on social media, uh, Bunny Ears Web, or just go to bunnyears.com. Check out the articles, read some funny things, watch a couple funny videos. Uh, I don't know, poke around, leave us some comments, tell us uh, how much you love us or that you hate us and make us all cry. 
All right, and now voicemails. Voicemails. We're always getting voicemails. Eight four five easy e hoax. I said it's eight four five easy e hoax. It might sound dumb, but it's not a joke. Yo, Mac, this is Greg uh, from Tennessee. Just love the podcast. Wanted to let you know. Uh, When are you going to get Matt back on for a guest appearance or something? Uh, Anyways, today's my 35th birthday, so I'm doing some some, uh, Irish car bombs in the AM, so it probably won't be a live later. We'll just see. Uh, Anyways, keep it real. Talk to you later. Bye. Hey there, Mac. Phil here. I'm a uh, first-time caller, long-time listener. I just wanted to say I just saw the trailer for Changeland, the movie you uh, did down there with your buddy uh, Scott Evil. And, uh, yeah, it looks really good, really, really good. I think it's cool how by doing a favor for a friend, you undoubtedly turn that film into a blockbuster. But can't wait to see it, man. Keep on keeping on. Macaulay Culkin, I hate you. I want to turn you into a fucking walrus, dude. Fucking call me back, dog. I want to fucking kill you, dog. I'll fucking tie you to a fucking stake. Calm down. Burn you alive. Nah, dude. This is fucking passion. This is fire burning passion. Dude, fuck you. Make home alone kill yourself, dog. Call him Macaulay Culkin again. Dude. Dude, put the phone down. Macaulay Culkin. I'm coming for you, dog. Dude, put the phone down. Dude, hang up. Where you, where do you, up. where do you live, dog? I'm gonna fucking, I'm gonna, I'm, I'm bringing a fucking, I'm gonna fucking kill you, dog. I'm turning you into a fucking marmoset, dog. What is the marmoset? Howdy, folks. Good to see me. Chris Well, the traveling magician out here peddling my wares. Honest man trying to make an honest living. You can't blame a man for that. Now, if you think of any card, just think of any card. It doesn't matter. A card. Seven of clubs. That's the card you're thinking of? Well, I'll take it. $29.99. You'll learn this trick, too. Only $29.99. I can teach you how to do it. However, if that's a little steep for you, we'll rent it to you for only $28.99 with a $1 shipping and handling fee. You can find everything you need to know at chriswellnow.com. Find me, gag me, take me to the bunny ranch. You are freaking lumberjack! Oh my god. <laughs>